Hello and welcome back to Time Wizard Throwbacks, the show where I showcase a legacy format each episode, give you a look into how it operates and what the meta looks like. Today, we're going to be looking back on a not as oftenly played legacy format. I know we've been focusing on Goats and Edison up until now, but this one is also pretty interesting. Today, we're going to be looking back to 2007, mid-2007 to be exact, with YCS Indianapolis. This format ran from around March of 2007 to August of 2007 and was the precursor to the Perfect Circle format known as Trooper Format or Troop Dupe Format. In this format, historically... Machine decks ruled, as Car Trooper was at 3, as was Machine Duplication, which is extremely powerful. In addition, Destiny Hero decks were extremely powerful, as Malicious was at 3 at the time. This format is usually populated by decks like Machine Aggro, Trooper Hero, Trooper Monarch, Drain Burn, Trooper Burn, and today's feature deck, Perfect Circle Monarchs. Well, first I draw this head, then I erase some of the more detailed features, and one, two, three... A circle thingy. So here's the deck list. Really fast, I just want to clarify that this is probably not the perfect circle deck that many of you are familiar with if you know the game historically, as Light and Darkness Dragon is not legal at this particular point in time. Trooper format standardly takes place directly after the release of Force of the Breaker, meaning we get access to cards like Rise of the Monarch. So a quick go over of the card by card here. Card Trooper. He is at 3 in this format and is probably one of our most useful tools. He's a normal summon that can mill 3 and go up to 1900 and replaces himself with a draw on destruction. The reason the format is named after him is because of how powerful Car Trooper is as a resource generator. Half of your cards go off from the graveyard, so it's really nice to have the mills. 1DD Warrior Lady because we're already focused on warriors and having a removal option searchable off your rota is really nice. One Destiny Hero Dasher. This is one of those cards that's kind of here and there, but you want to have another Destiny Hero name so your Destiny draw is always live. It's also really useful for unbricking your draws, as I'm sure many of you who just went through DPE format understand. One Disc Commander. A note here, Disc Commander actually has been eroded since this format. Disc Commander's original text was, if he is special summoned from the graveyard, draw two cards. That is it. He is one of the most useful cards in this deck because of the resource generation he provides. One Fearmonger. Fearmonger is actually really interesting, as if it's destroyed by battle, you'll be able to bring back your Disc Commander the next turn, which means that you'll draw two cards. Really useful there. Three Malicious. Malicious is at three in this format, and it's extremely powerful for that. He's available as a tribute piece for your Monarchs, as a tribute piece for your Crush cards, etc, etc. One Elemental Hero Stratos. Stratos is at one, unfortunately, but his search power is still unparalleled. Three, Rise of the Storm Monarch. This is one of the big cards of the format. Rise on Tribute Summon will spin a card on field back to the top of the owner's deck. Really useful for stalling out your opponent while also disrupting them. One Sangan. Sangan is still a really good search card. It can get you your card trooper, which is really nice. And on top of that, it can be used to trigger your crush card. Really nice there. One Spirit Reaper. Spirit Reaper is still an indestructible body that can hand rip. It is really useful in this format. One Treeborn Frog. You're playing four monarchs in this deck and you have a lot of tribute summonable monsters. You're going to want to have the tribute fodder. One Zaborg the Thunder Monarch. Sometimes spinning a card to the top of the deck is not ideal. You want to be able to actually pop that sucker. One Book of Moon. Book of Moon is Book of Moon. Two Brain Control. Brain Control is actually at two in this format, which is really interesting. Pay 800, take an opponent's monster. Really useful for giving yourself tribute fodder. One Confiscation. Why is this card legal? I don't know, but Confi is Confi. Three Destiny Draw. You play a substantial amount of Destiny Heroes to make sure this card is always live. Discard a D Hero, draw two. One Heavy Storm. Heavy Storm is Heavy Storm. One Machine Duplication. Our deck is not focused on Card Trooper as much as other decks in the format are, which is why we're only running one Machine Dupe here. However, getting a Machine Dupe off on Card Trooper is extremely powerful in its own right. One Mystical Space Typhoon. Wish you could run more. One Premature Burial. Really useful here for bringing back Disc Commander specifically, because it's a pay eight, put a body on board, and draw two. Two Rhoda. Rhoda is Rhoda. Granted, you only have four search targets in your deck, but that's still four search targets that are all really powerful in their own right. 
One snatch deal because two brain control wasn't enough. One call of the haunted for the same reason you're playing premature burial. One crush card virus. This is one of the big power cards of the format. Crush card virus at the time was a shonen jump championship card that tributed a thousand attacker lower dark monster to destroy all monsters in your opponent's hand and field that had 1500 or more attack. On top of that, you also got to check every card they drew for the next three turns and destroy all of the same. All the errata defects onto this thing of them getting advantage is not present on the original crush card it is really powerful for that one mirror force mirror force is mirror force three phoenix wing wind blast similar to rise up being able to stack things back on top of your opponent's deck is extremely powerful it forces your opponent into an awkward loop and as long as you're stacking their resources they are not gaining resources meaning that you are gaining advantage one ring of destruction ring of destruction is still a really good spot removal piece and finally torrential tribute it is a board wipe really useful Extra deck doesn't really matter in this regard, so let's jump into the games. Our first game is going to be the mirror match against another Perfect Circle Monarch player. Interesting. Uh, we're going first, and our hand looks pretty decent here. We could really use a discard outlet. We'll draw for turn, hit the Fear Monger, proceed to main phase one, set the DD Warrior Lady, and pass it. Our opponent's going to draw for turn, and Normal Summon Card Trooper getting to mill three here. All three of those mills look pretty awful, though. He'll proceed to battle and walk into our DD Warrior Lady, so we'll banish both. He'll proceed to set and end the turn. We'll draw for turn, hitting Card Trooper. We'll proceed to normal Card Trooper to get our mill on. And those are much better looking mills than he got. We'll proceed to swing in for 19, go to main phase 2, and pass the turn. He'll draw for turn here. Activate Rhoda to be able to search out Stratos, and then normal summon Stratos to search out Malicious. He'll then use Stratos to walk into our card trooper for 14, but we'll get to draw off that card trooper, so pretty nice, into machine dupe a little late. Uh, he'll set one in pass. We'll draw for turn into Sangan. We'll activate the brain control to take the Stratos. And then we'll proceed to normal summon the Stratos to trigger his back row popping effect. Bet y'all didn't realize he had that. Uh, our opponent's going to flip Torrential, which unfortunately takes our hero target off the board, so we'll just have to pass the turn. He'll draw for turn, set a monster, and pass. We'll draw for turn into Destiny Draw, finally hitting that. We'll go ahead and fire it off, discarding Malicious to draw two. We'll proceed to set one and pass. Our opponent's going to draw for turn, tribute his Treeborn Frog for Ariza, and put our Disc Commander back on top of the deck. He'll proceed to swing in with Ariza for 24 and then pass the turn. We'll draw back into that same Disc Commander again, kind of unfortunate. We'll bring control to Ariza, and then tribute it off to set our Malicious face down. We'll then pass the turn back. Uh, he'll Phoenix Wing, though, in End Phase to put Malicious back on top of the deck. That is unfortunate. Uh, he'll draw for turn here. Go Standby Phase, bring back his Treeborn. Normal Summon his Card Trooper to Mill 3, and those are a little bit better. He'll swing in for 19 here, and then proceed to set one and pass the turn. We'll draw into our Malicious, and we'll trigger our Dasher in the Graveyard here to Special Summon that Malicious. We'll then proceed to set the Fearmonger and pass the turn. He'll draw for turn here. Flip up Call the Haunted to get back his Disc Commander. Disc Commander's effect to draw two. He'll then fire off the Brain Control to take our Malicious. That's unfortunate. And then he'll tribute the Malicious for Ryza to stack our Fearmonger, and that is the game. Unfortunate. Our second game here is going to be against Trooper Hero. Uh, we've opened a little bit of an odd one. We have absolutely no monsters, but a lot of control options, so we'll have to see how this goes. We'll draw for turn and hit a Rota. That's exactly what we need to see here. We will fire that off and get a Stratos. We'll then proceed to normal summon the Stratos so we can search and grab a Malicious off that for our Phoenix Wing. We'll then proceed to set Phoenix Wing, set Crush card, and pass the turn. He'll draw for turn here, proceed to main phase one, fire off a Destiny draw, discarding Malicious to draw two. He'll then special summon the Cyber Dragon. Ugh, that's kind of rough. Uh, he'll go to battle phase and walk over our Stratos for 300 damage. But we're actually going to flip the Phoenix Wing, discarding Malicious to stack that Cyber Dragon back on top. We don't really want to deal with that. He'll proceed to main phase two, banishes Malicious to special summon a Malicious from deck, and then metamorphoses his Malicious into Ryu Senshi. Are you kidding me? Uh, we don't really have it out for that right now. Uh, he'll set one, normal summon his card trooper, and then proceed to mill three with card trooper. He'll then pass the turn after that. We'll draw for turn into Confi. Uh, we'll, that's a good one. Uh, we're actually going to proceed to battle so he gets his card trooper draw before we Confi here. So he'll take 14 off that, draw one. And then we'll proceed to main phase two and Confi to see what we got out of it. And that's an interesting one. We know now that Morphing Jar is in our near future, but we don't really want to deal with that Snatch Steel, so we'll get that out of there. We'll then just set two and pass to prepare ourselves for the Morphing Jar. He'll draw for turn, going standby main. 
go into battle and swing in with Ryu Senshi into Stratos. We're just going to take two and let that go. Uh, in main phase two, he'll set one and pass. I wonder what that could possibly be. Uh, I'll draw for turn, stand by main. Uh, I fire off the premature burial to get Stratos back. We're then going to use Stratos' effect on summon to search, but he'll flip the ring of destruction, so we're not going to keep him on field for long. He'll get destroyed, we'll both take 18, and I'll get to still search with Stratos here. We're going to grab a Disc Commander, since we know it's going to grave anyways. Normal summon the Sangan, and then swing into this Morphing Draw to get a fresh draw. We'll discard the Disc Commander and draw 5. And that is an interesting one. Pretty solid draws, all things considered. Nothing immediately useful, but still pretty useful all around. We'll proceed to main phase two here and pass the turn. He'll draw for turn, go brain control on our Sangan, and then normal summon the card trooper, proceeding to mill three. He'll attempt to use malicious here, but realize that his third malicious is actually already in the graveyard. So instead, he's going to fire off the pot of avarice, which is really powerful. Uh, he's going to put back all five monsters that are currently in his graveyard to get a free draw two. He'll then destiny draw, discarding his draw and dasher to draw two more. And then he'll heavy storm our back row. So we'll proceed to Book of Moon, the card trooper. And then we'll Phoenix Wing discarding Treeborn to bounce the Ryu Senshi, but Ryu Senshi will negate that. Unfortunately, our crush card virus gets hit in that, but Ryu Senshi could have just negated it anyways. He'll proceed to swing in with Ryu Senshi and Sangan here for 3k damage. And if we didn't Book of Moon the card trooper there, we would be dead. So he'll pass the turn after that. We'll get our Sangan back. We'll draw for turn into Ryza, and we see a path. We're going to bring back our Treeborn Frog, proceed to main phase one activate the effect of our malicious engraved to special summon a malicious from deck we'll then tribute our treeborn frog here for a rise of the storm monarch and then use rise's effect to spin back that ryu senshi get that thing off of our field we'll then go to battle phase walk our malicious into the car trooper and then walk our sangan and Ryza into his face for lethal damage our third match here is against Trooper Hero, and this is another solid hand for going first. Seeing the Ryza and the Disc Commander pretty early is always a nice thing. We'll draw for turn, hitting that Destiny draw, which is really nice to see. We'll proceed to Rota to go ahead and grab our Stratos out of the deck, and then we'll fire off this Destiny draw to draw two by discarding the Disc Commander. Puts that in the grave for later. We'll then proceed to set the Spirit Reaper, set the Book of Moon, and pass the turn. He'll draw for turn here, proceed to main phase one, set a monster, and set two back row and pass the turn back to us. We'll draw for turn, hitting that brain control, nice nice. We'll normal summon the Stratos and attempt to get the Stratos search here. He'll allow it, so we'll be able to search out. Fearmonger, really going to be useful for a normal summon later. Uh, we'll proceed to battle and walk into a set monster, only for him to flip his own Spirit Reaper. Main phase two, we don't really want that to get tributed, so we're going to bring control to target it so it pops itself. We'll then proceed to pass the turn. He'll draw for turn here, go to main phase one, set a monster, and pass the turn back to us. We'll draw for turn, hitting that Phoenix Wing, which is pretty nice. We'll tribute our Stratos for a Ryza to stack the monster he just set back to the top of his deck. We'll then proceed to flip the Spirit Reaper to try and get the hand ripping going. We'll swing in for 300, and he will flip a Mirror Force. Sometimes they just have it. We'll lose our board, but then we'll just proceed to set the Phoenix Wing and pass the turn. He'll draw into the monster from last turn. He'll normal summon it. It's a Mystic Tomato, and he'll swing in for 14. We'll proceed to Phoenix Wing, discard Malicious to stack it back on top of the deck. Make sure he just doesn't get that card back. He'll proceed to end the turn after that we'll draw into phoenix wing yet again so we'll proceed to use malicious's effect to banish malicious to summon a malicious from deck we'll then tribute off that malicious for rise of the storm monarch here and we'll proceed to stack his back row back on top of his deck as well we'll go into battle phase and swing in for 24 knowing that he can't really do anything about that. We'll then set the Phoenix Wing and pass the turn back to him. He'll draw for turn here, hitting that back row we just spun back. He'll then proceed to smashing ground our Ryza. That is unfortunate. He'll then normal summon a Cyber Phoenix. Oh, that's a good one here. He'll swing in for 12 and then set one and pass. We'll draw for turn, hitting that Mirror Force. Good out for Cyber Phoenix. We'll then set the Fear Monger and then pass the turn, not wanting to fall into a heavy storm. He'll draw back into his Mystic Tomato here, swap his Cyber Phoenix to defense, set that same Mystic Tomato and pass the turn back to us. We'll draw into Destiny Draw, not really too useful here, but at least it gives us something to pitch off Phoenix Wing. He'll draw for turn, first new card he's gotten in a while, and it looks like it's not a good one for us. He'll set his whole hand and pass the turn. We'll set the Mirror Force, suspecting the worst, and then pass the turn. He'll go into his turn, set his hand, and Morphing Jar us. Uh-oh. So we're just going to discard and get a fresh hand here. 
We're going to get a really interesting one off the top here. A lot of things we can do with this hand. He'll then tribute the Morphing Jar for a Rise of the Storm Monarch to stack our Fear Monger back on top of the deck yet again, and then proceed to swing in for 24. Uh, we're not going to take that. We're actually going to Book a Moon the Rise of here so it goes back face down so we can set up for Torrential Tribute next turn. He'll just proceed to set one and pass the turn back to us. We'll draw here and hit the Fear Monger, and he will trap Dust Shoot to get rid of a card in our hand. Ugh. He'll put the Fear Monger back. Interesting thing but not exactly what I expected, uh, but we'll shuffle that away and then we will proceed to main phase one where we will normal summon the card trooper and then proceed to get milling. Uh, not the best mills there, unfortunately, but we're going to try to swing Car Trooper into the Ryza, and he will hit us with the Widespread Ruin. At the very least, we'll get the Car Trooper draw to replace itself. Hitting a Sangan off the top, good for our Crush Card Virus at least. We'll set two back row and pass the turn back to him. He'll draw for turn here, go standby main, swap the Cyber Phoenix to attack and attack in, so play around the Torrential Tribute, smart, smart. He'll then proceed to main phase two, flip summon the Mystic Tomato, and at this point we will fire the Torrential Tribute to clear his board. We don't really want to deal with anything more. He'll then Pot of Avarice to go ahead and shuffle back all the monsters we just destroyed, unfortunate. Then proceed to set a monster and pass the turn back to us. We're going to draw for turn here into a Destiny Hero Dasher, not ideal unfortunately, uh, but we'll go ahead and Phoenix Wing discarding that Dasher to stack his monster back on top. We'll then proceed to Normal Summon our Sangan and attempt to walk in for a thousand. And he will scapegoat. We'll just go ahead and redeclare the Sangan onto one of those goat tokens so he only brings out three. Uh, we'll main phase two and just pass the turn. He'll draw for turn here, go standby main, and he'll proceed to MST the card on next to our deck. But unfortunately for him, that is Crush Card Virus. We'll tribute off the Sangan and get a look at that pretty hand of his. And that is a good hand right there. Uh, we'll be able to rip Ryza and Cyber Dragon out of here and leave them with pretty much bare bones tools to work with for the rest of the duel. We'll then proceed to get the Sangan search since it was sent from the field to the graveyard and that allows us to get ourselves a Fearmonger back to hand. That way we can attempt to get our Destiny Heroes back going. Uh, he'll normal summon the Cyber Phoenix and then walk in for 12. Not too much here except for Mirror Force so we just get rid of it. Uh, his hand is currently Mind Control Sangan. We feel we can do that. Uh, we'll draw for turn, go main phase one, banish our malicious to get a malicious out of deck in attack mode. We'll then proceed to normal summon the fear monger and then walk into two of the goat tokens. We'll go main phase two, set the ring of destruction and pass the turn back to him. He'll draw and have to reveal to us what he got. It's a Dekoichi that's not going to get hit by crush card. Uh, he'll go main phase one, normal summon the Sangan and proceed to walk into our malicious. We're going to ring of destruction the Sangan though. We don't really want to deal with that. And we want to try to maintain some kind of board presence here. He'll proceed to Sangan search for a Morphing Jar. Uh, pretty telegraphed now. He'll proceed to end the turn as he has already normal summoned this turn. We'll draw for turn into Card Trooper. We'll go ahead and normal summon Card Trooper. But our deck's looking a little low so we're going to opt not to mill. We'll use Card Trooper to walk into the token. And then Malicious and Fearmonger to walk into his life points. We'll proceed to end phase and then pass the turn back to him. He'll draw for turn and reveal to us the Cyber Dragon. Our Crush Card's going to kill that one. He'll then Normal Summon the Dekoichi and attempt to walk over our Card Trooper. We're going to have to allow that, taking a thousand but getting to draw off the Card Trooper, which is pretty useful. And we're going to hit a Call of the Haunted, a little late for that at this stage. He'll then set the Brain Control that we know is there and pass the turn. We'll draw for turn, and since we know we're going for game this turn, we're just going to get fancy. We're going to Heavy Storm his Brain Control so it doesn't really matter. We'll Tribute our Malicious to Normal Summon Zaborg to pop his Dekoichi, and that will be the end of the game. So we're back, and I think it's safe to say that this is one of the better decks of the format. Of course, you're always running the risk of getting sacked, but that kind of comes with playing legacy formats. So the pros. This deck is really good at building board presence and locking up your opponent's resources between Ryza and Phoenix Wing. It is really, really powerful to keep stacking your opponent's cards back on top, because not only does it remove those cards from the field, it also means your opponent is drawing them for turn next turn and not gaining any new resources. Two, Malicious is extremely powerful at three. There's a reason this card has been at two for as long as it has been. Malicious being able to loop itself into more Malicious is just extremely useful for tribute fodder. Three, Card Trooper being at three means you are going to see it often and be able to mill often is really powerful in a deck that needs graveyard recursion. And the cons. You're not going to be as explosive as other decks in the format. Sometimes you are going to lose to burn. Sometimes you are going to lose to machine aggro. It just happens. They're going to outpace you. But if you can set up your resource loops before they get online, you're in a good position. All in all, I kind of hope trooper format gets picked up a little bit more, but I do understand why it doesn't. If you want a party like it's 2007, this is the format for you.